Good afternoon, students. This is the video lesson for page 34 in your student book. So please go to page 34 and we will get started. Remember, on this page, we are only doing exercises one and two. So we're doing one and two. All right, so let's start with number one. Number one says to match the words and meanings. But first, let's practice saying these words and practice reading the meanings. So, number one, repeat after me, virus. Virus. Number two, cyber cafe. Cyber Cafe. Number three, Netiquette. Netiquette. Number four, Hacker. Hacker. Number five, Web Surfing. Web Surfing. And number six, online, online. Very good, now let's do the meaning. So A, searching through web pages. Very good, B, a person who breaks into online files and steals information. All right. C. Connected to the internet. Very good. D. A program that harms computers. All right, and E, rules about the polite way to communicate on the internet. And the last one, F, a place that has computers for people to use. All right, so now let's complete the exercise. So, number one, a virus. As you know, right now we have the coronavirus and it is something that affects people but in this instance, we're talking about computers. So a virus is a program that harms computers. Number two, a cyber cafe. Here you say cyber. So what is a cyber? It is a place that has computers for people to use. All right, netiquette. So real quick, if you look at the word etiquette, etiquette is a word for manners and being polite and how you should interact. They invented the word netiquette because the web is also called the net. So netiquette is the rules about the polite way to communicate on the internet. Number four, a hacker is a person who breaks into online files and steals information. Web surfing, so think of a person surfing on a big wave, going on and on and on. Web surfing is searching through web pages. And that means online, much
must be connected to the internet. So practice reading these words with the correct meaning. So a virus is a program that harms computers and practice with all of these. But for now, let's go to exercise two. So we need to listen, read, and number the paragraphs in order. So we have one, two, three, four paragraphs. So let's listen to the audio and then put these in the correct order. Lesson C, pages 34 and 35. Two, listen, read, and number the paragraphs in order. Dictionaries of the English language have been updating their entries since their very first edition. Hundreds of words are added to the dictionary each year. The world of computing has been growing so fast that many of the new words going into dictionaries are now related to technology. The Internet has given us many new terms. People go online for web surfing. While they are chatting, they need to behave well and watch their netiquette. To use the Internet, people can go to cyber cafes and use Wi-Fi to connect to the Internet wirelessly. People still need to take care to avoid a computer virus. Hackers are another danger. Dictionaries also note the different ways words are used. Words once used only as nouns, such as text, message, and friend, are now verbs too. The world has changed so much that people have been asking if dictionaries can keep up with it all. Alright, so let's listen to this again and number the paragraphs as we hear them. Lesson C, pages 34 and 35. 2. Listen, read, and number the paragraphs in order. Dictionaries of the English language have been updating their entries since their very first edition. Hundreds of words are added to the dictionary each year. The world of computing has been growing so fast that many of the new words going into dictionaries are now related to technology. The Internet has given us many new terms. People go online for web surfing. While they are chatting, they need to behave well and watch their netiquette. To use the Internet, people can go to cyber cafes and use Wi-Fi to connect to the Internet wirelessly. People still need to take care to avoid a computer virus. Hackers are another danger. Dictionaries also note the different ways words are used. Words once used only as nouns, such as text, message, and friend, are now verbs too. The world has changed so much that people have been asking if dictionaries can keep up with it all. All right, very good. These are your answers. One, two, three, and four. One more thing. When you see words in this section that are italicized, that means they're kind of slanted. These are important words that you should learn. Online, web surfing, netiquette, cyber cafe, Wi-Fi, virus, hackers, text, message, friend, and there you go. So these words used to only be nouns, like read the text, your textbook, but now we use text like, hey, text me the information. So it's interesting how the language has changed. So practice reading this on your own out loud to help you with your reading skills, your speaking skills, and your listening skills. That's it for page 34. Thank you for following along.